hello guys welcome to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates today we are going to discuss the beam column joint uh, this is a very important joint in every rc structure you you will know you will get to know about this joint uh, what is the beam column joint and how it should be designed uh, there are some important points which i will explain in this lecture right so every type of every rcc structure has the beam column connection we call it the beam column connection right i draw it here the rcc structure rcc frame structure this is rcc frame structure and i will explain the beam column joint concept here by taking uh, this as an example so for example this is rcc frame structure this these are the B, these are the columns which are standing with the compression members they are the columns and these all are the beams which are horizontal members right they are the beams while these are the slaves on the first floor right this is the ground floor so these column and beam when combined into one another when the reinforcement when their beam and column reinforcement joint in the in the same position in the same portion we call it the beam column joint but there are three different types of beam column joint this is the corner joint we call it the corner joint right while this because the beam reinforcement just uh, go into the column from one side and here from one side it cannot go into the other side it cannot go into the other side this why we call it the corner because it's a corner joint so number second is the three types of the beam column joint number second uh, is the exterior joint we call this type of joint is the exterior joint exterior joint is the joint in which the beam can move from in one uh, from one place uh, in one position but it cannot move in the other location like for example it can move in the x direction like this but it cannot move in the y direction because it just stopped at the column location so we call this type of joint as the, uh, as the exterior joint right because the uh, one beam is just stopped here while other beam moves uh, to its length so we call this the exterior joint this is the first one second one and the last one is the interior joint interior joint interior joint is the joint of the uh, beam and column joint in which the beam moves uh, through all the direction of the columns for example like this is the column and the beam will pass through all the faces of the column so we call this is the interior joint it's always in the center of the rcc structure while the uh, exterior joint is always on the uh, spin spindle side of the uh, rcc structure periphery of the structure we call is the exterior joint like this is like this one like this one we call this is exterior joint while the corner joint are those which uh, which are at the corners we call it the corner joints right each joint should be designed uh, so that it can resist the uh, seismic forces as well as the gravity loads because uh, columns or uh, joints are not usually designed for uh, uh, concentric loads they are usually designed for the eccentric loading as well so let's come into the some of the uh, points which I will discuss here the first point I'm going to discuss here is the Considering this, this considering this uh, is an example of column and beam. For example, this is the column. I consider this example uh, taking this column or uh, joint beam column joint is here an example. This is the column standing while it's an elevation view, elevated view. While here is the beam moving through the column, right? Beam here moving through the column. So the first point about to design the beam column joint is the 
uh, the ties of the column. This, these are the ties of the column. Right? The, the ties of the column. The first point is to, to the, the, the ties and the column should have a closely spaced ties. They should have closely spaced. For example, this, these are the ties, right? In the column. And there and their hair, their hooks. Their hooks have their own direction. This should be at the angle of what? This should be at the angle of 135 degree. Both should be 135 degree hooks. And the length of the hooks, the length of the hook should be equal to the 10 and to die of tie bar. Tie bar according to the engine standard IS. Right? There uh, also according to the uh, American standards ACI codes, they provide that it should be the 135 degree hook and the joint uh, of the beam column joint ties should have the 135 degree hook. So we also call this the seismic hook and the little ties should have the hook of 10 into dia. The length of the hook should be equal to 10 into dia of tie bar. So we should provide this type of ties at the joint and it should be closely spaced not it's like in this uh, portion it's not the joint portion so it should not be closely as much as in the joint the joint should be very closely spaced with ties so and the second point is the width of the column the width of the column is also very important and the different standard scores here provide some uh, some of course some limit of the column that it should be provided and the considering this is the column and this is the section of the column let's suppose this is the section so according to the engine standard the, the, the this is the car this is the beam moving I take an example here this is same the same example there is a beam moving here and here and this is the you now cross section of the column this is a one dimension, this is second dimension. Engine according to the engine standards, IS. According to the engine standards, they uh, have a limit that the uh, width of the column, the width of the column, this dimension and this dimension should at least be equal to the 300 mm. 300 mm. It should not be less than the 300 mm in each dimension, the width of the column. If the story of the height is greater than four meter or four meter and the length of the beam here with the connection of the joint is five meter so you should must provide the minimum of dimension of the column is 300 meter 300 millimeter right the two conditions are if your story height is four meter and if your beam length is five meter you should must provide the beam could show the column dimension is the 300 and both the direction as in the X is in the Y right so coming to the number third one and according to the uh, American standards they show that if your uh, if your structure is in the uh, zone 3 or zone 4 zone 3 or zone 4 you should must provide the width of the column is 12 inches 12 inches here and 12 inches here your column width should must be 12 inches in the beam column and uh, the beam column uh, connection the beam column joint this is the column dimension it should must be 12 inches and 12 inches if your structure is in the zone 3 or zone 4 and the other important point is about the corner joint right if this is the uh, this is the column and this is the beam moving beam moving uh, maybe and and this is a corner joint it cannot be extended here in this portion because the beam here uh, here end up in this position so the reinforcement provided in the beam should be always ill bent it should be always bent into the column similarly if the bottom reinforcement it should be bend at the here to the top so it should always be l-shaped bent l-shaped bent 
bars bars and the corner joint and the corner joint your beam reinforcement should be ended with the l shape uh, bend bars this is for the corner joint it's, uh, it's uh, it should always be provided uh, especially when there is uh, your structure is uh, you design for the seismic we also call this type of as the development length and as I also provided the video about the development length you can watch our video on our channel and the last point is about the uh, this is the for example considering this is a column and this is the beam it may be an example of this example the central one interior joint and there is a column and there is a beam moving through the column so the now the point is that the beam reinforcement should not be should not be bent in the joint or like that it should not be bent in the joint it is strongly not recommended by the standards that the beam reinforcement in the column should not be bent or should not be cut out at the joint like this way it should not be cut at the joints but it should be moved straightly through the joint like this should be moved straight to the joint it should not be cut or should not be bent in the beam column joint the beam reinforcement should not be uh, or cut or the bent in the joint it's the last and very important point and should be remembered and these are actually implemented in when our engineers do designing and practically so this was all about the beam column joint and it's very important to design this joint very carefully especially in the seismic zones and I mean the earthquake occur the joint there's a uh, there's a joint so the, the top reinforcement at the earthquake occurs like in this direction so the top reinforcement moves in this direction while the B while the bottom reinforcement may move in this direction this is the joint of the beam column it may be any joint exterior or interior or maybe corner joint but due to earthquake uh, it can move the reinforcement at the top of the um, a joint moves in one direction while the bottom reinforcement moves in another direction so uh, there is a huge uh, differentiation a huge different scenario in the joint so it should be well designed right and it's very really critical uh, critical condition in the joint so it should be uh, taken carefully uh, taken care of that to design it uh, is according to the standards and please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates thank you for watching our video